Hello learners. Today we are going to learn how to solve transportation model using MS Solver. But here we will learn unbalanced transportation model. So in this case, we need to understand that demand and supply is not equal. I have taken the previous sum only of balanced transportation model. If you have not seen my previous video, kindly watch it here. I have changed the demand from 14 to 10. So if I do summation, so you can see here the demands total is 30, whereas supplies total is 34. So basically our demand and supply doesn't meet. Supply is thir uh, 34 units, whereas our demand is only 30 units. So again, if we want to solve in a, a Excel solver, we need to make this format where we just need to uh, make this empty cells as a fulfilling cost. Uh, this cells as our unit cost. Again, the same. Here uh, I have written here total in and total out. So basically I will show you it's a summation of D1. Similarly, if you just check uh, D2, the summation of the same. Same way total out is also written here. Here I have written uh, the sign that I will teach you later. But here I have written supply and here I have written demand. If there is unbalanced transportation model, we have to find a slack values. So that we will learn here. And yes, this is our total cost. It is some product of this unit cost and fulfilling cost. So this is our unit cost and this is our fulfilling cost. So let's initiate how to solve it. So again, uh, I will just open a solver. You can check the data tab and here you will have a solver. I will reset all the things. Okay, so here the first thing is you have to uh, set the objective. So objective is this cell. Basically, I need a total cost. Yes, if you want to maximize the cost, just tap on maximize. But I want to minimize the cost. I want to reduce the cost. And yes, by changing variables. So changing variables would be your empty cells. So just select the empty cells or you can say uh, it's our variable cost yes you need to add the constraint so first thing always remember if you are working with unbalanced transportation model so where there is a less units that is in demand or supply you just first give equal to sign there so in this case uh, I, our demand is less so i will just change to equal to sign and yes I will just add the constraint. So you can check here uh, our total in and our demand. I have just given equal to sign. I am adding this constraint. Now here check the supply sign. Here total out would always be less then equal to our supply side if if the scenario is reverse like if you have more demand and less supply you have to just change the sign here but in this case as i always say wherever there is more number of units there in this case supply has more number of units so you have to change less than equal to sign there and yes where the units are actually less then at that time you have to give equal to sign this is a very common thing that you need to remember and then you just need to cancel this tab your two uh, things are made yes you have to change it to simplex yes you always click on to make uh, you, your constraints to non-negative value and just click solve you will see the magic you can see here the cost is 619 it's our minimum cost 
even you need to find where the slack value or where the allocation of that four missing value is done on a zero if we do manually where it has done on a zero so first you just subtract your lhs minus rhs in other words demand minus total n and try to see this side because obviously this side uh, there is only 30 units so there is no access so you will get zero but here you will get so again do the same process lhs minus rhs and try to drag drop the data you can see here the two two allocations are not allocated so in simple terms if you do manually you know uh, this units are allocated on zero and that cost would be reduced now suppose i wanted to change the scenario i wanted to know the maximum cost from the same scenario so here again i am just going to the solver just click on data ribbon just click solver and try to just see the max tab just click solve just click ok you can see the cost has maximized to uh, 1468 and yes here the last value has been not allocated so this way you can learn how to optimize the cost or maybe you can learn how to use uh, your solver to optimization thank you students stay connected